let's take a look at this problem in another way, just for fun. So let's consider the original problem of taking K books and putting them on N shelves. Now, I've drawn some example um, diagrams of some arrangements of books. These are four books distributed on three shelves. And let me give you another way of, of notating um, these, these arrangements. So over here, what I've done is, um, I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write the sequence of numbers um, reading left to right, top to bottom. So that's the sequence in which the books are ordered, but that doesn't exactly tell you where all the books are on the shelves because I haven't said kind of like where the, where the shelves go. So like over here, for example, what I really should say is in between three and two, they're on different shelves. There's like a shelf separator, this pink line. Um, between two and the one four, there's a shelf separator that has to go there. Over here, there's actually two shelves separating one from two. Um, and in this situation, there's um, two shelves um, after two. Everything is on the beginning, right? So the point is, it's like in each of these, um, each of these um, ways, I've given a way of representing the arrangements of the books on the shelves. And to do that, what I've done is I've written a, um, a sequence of my books, uh, uh, really a permutation of my books, and then I've placed pink lines somewhere inside there to denote where the shelves actually go. Um, let's, uh, let's think about how we could count the number of representations of this sort, which is then going to also count the number of books on the shelf. So what, what is one of these representations? Really what it is, is um, I, have, um, I, have a, I have two things. On the one hand, I have a permutation. And on the other hand, I have a description of where the shelves are supposed to go. So I have the permutation, one, three, four, two. And then I have a description of where the shelves are, which are like this. I'll say it like this. I have book, 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 shelf, shelf. Here I have three, two, one, four. And I have book, shelf, um, book, shelf, book, book. Here I have one, two, four, three. And I have book. Shelf, shelf, book, book, book. So, how many ways can I? How many ways are there of, of doing these? Well, I have to first specify a permutation. So, if I have k books, then there's k factorial ways of making a permutation of my books, and then I say I have to say how many books and how many like shelf separators. Um, I need, and I need to pick which of my, which uh, in my sequence are books on which things are shelf separated. So, well, how many things are there in the sequence altogether? There's these four, these are the four books that I have. So, in general, there's, um, there's K books. Um, if there's three shelves, I need two shelf separators, and in general, I'm going to need N plus one shelf separators. So, all, uh, sorry, N minus one. So, altogether, I have k plus n minus 1 letters, in this case 6, I have k plus n minus 1 letters, and then I'm going to choose which n minus 1 of them are separators. So from k plus n minus 1, I'm going to choose which n minus 1 are shelf separators. And so altogether, I get k factorial times k plus n minus 1 over n minus 1, or choose n minus 1, is the number of ways of, um, of placing the k books onto the n shelves. Oh yeah, and before I move on, I should say, what is this thing if we break it down? That's k factorial, and then this is um, k plus n minus 1 factorial divided by um, n minus 1 factorial times this minus and minus one factorial, which is k factorial, actually. And these k factorials cancel, and actually the answer that we get is k plus n minus one factorial divided by n minus one factorial, which was the formula that we got earlier for this. Let's do a similar thing where we're forced to have one book on each shelf. As before, it's going to be easy to do this if we start with an example. 
So the idea is, let's say we have this arrangement of books. To represent this arrangement, what I'm going to do is the same kind of thing. I'll write just my sequence of books. Okay. And now what I'd like to do is describe where the shelves are. Now, unlike before, here there's a bit more of a constraint as to where the shelves go. The shelves can't go right next to each other. The shelf separators, excuse me, can't go right next to each other. We can't have like shelf, shelf separators like that because that would mean that in between those two separators, there was an empty shelf. So we can have at most one shelf separator between any two of these numbers. And furthermore, we're not allowed to start or end with a separator because that would say that we start with an empty shelf. We start, you know, we start by saying nothing, new shelf, three, two, right? So in this setting where we have at least one per shelf, that's the assumption here, um, we, the only legal places that we can possibly put our shelf separators are in the spaces between the numbers in our sequence. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, you know, we need to, we need to decide in which of those in our actual example we actually um, place separators. So in our example right here, these are the three separators for these three shelves. So how could we actually have counted that? Well, just like before, we're going to start with a permutation of our K books. And then in between those K books, we have K minus one spaces. And we're going to choose which of those K minus one spaces are going to be our shelf separators. If we have n shelves, we need n minus one shelf separators. And that gives us our, our count for how many ways we have placed these books with at least one per shelf.